And again, I'm fishing, but I'm also asking if an American, it seems to me that the American writers are unable to write a story about France, about French people, or unable to write a story yeah, about Canadians true. or whatever. Yeah. And then English writers are better writing yeah. stories about yeah. Americans as to what or whatever. Yeah. And is a can because we make no difference to whether I came from Poland, Taiwan, Nigeria, yeah. or Russia. Yeah. That's who we are. That's who we are. Are we better placed in the key signature I think so. to say I'm going to be an Iraqi woman, I'm going to be Christie England, I'm going yeah, to be I think because so. I don't have those national Whereas if an American and certainly writer, living in Toronto, you know, that's what we are. And it makes it much easier because I can talk to my Iraqi neighbor or my Somali uh, neighbor. Right. Um, and, and, and we're all on the subway together and the friends. And uh, yeah, I think there's that. I think American writers, not always, but generally I've noticed they, they, they work to please their audience more. It's a lot of sitcom-y kind of plays coming out of the States. Sitcom theater. Yeah, plays, theater. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sitcomish. Um, not really challenging. I think they would have been afraid to write. I can't think of ferocious American writers. You except, David Mamet, except David Mamet, you don't agree with politically, but he way. is ferocious oh, yeah. in his own way. Yeah. Oh, it's undeniable. But Oleana is a brilliant other... play, but it's a, it's a make you crazy what it does to the audience, how it manipulates them. Yeah. You know. But it's a I loved doing it for scene study because it's amazing. Um, that, that's what's so aggravating is that he's, when he's good, he's really good. Right. Uh, and have the ferocious American writers gone to HBO? They've gone yes, Generation yes, Kill. Have you seen have. Generation Kill? No. Generation Kill is, you know, they couldn't get a network to do it, so it's about, I think it's eight Humvees in the Iraq war. And it follows this unit of eight Humvees in, and there's no real plot. There's no real structure. And you follow these guys in, and it's a guy, 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 guy. It's wonderful. Is it? Because it's lifting the veil, the muscle. Of it's the lifting the veil. It's yeah. saying, and in all the mess. Yeah. And there is a long-term narrative structure. You realize over the episodes, they do have narrative lines, but it's not. You know, here's our eight commercial breaks. Here's our excitement. Here's this. Here's our whatever. Here's our. They don't do any of that, and you don't know where you are. And a bit like The Wire, you can't right. understand their language for a while. No, and going, I love that. You know, I love I can't, that. I can't understand the language here. Yeah. So maybe the more ferocious American writers are going That's there. That's a good point. That's a really good point. So and they've left the theaters. Yeah. Yes, they have left the theaters because they have to please. They, you're right, Genji, the one who wrote Orange is the New Black, and Weeds Before She's the Woman, the ferocious woman. Uh, it's mainly guys, but so again, coming back room. to my pessimism yeah. and your optimism about about your young acting students. Yeah. Are we saying to ferocious young Canadian writers, you're probably not going to have a place in the theater, because we're going the American route. Maybe there'll be a, a version of HBO or something. Wouldn't that be nice, though? I mean, if they. <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm off on a tangent though. here, but it is about. We're uh, talking yeah, about I writing. tried. I mean, there there's there was goodwill at the CBC in places. They they tried with me. But I couldn't fit into what they wanted. I mean, if yeah. I was a courageous producer at CBC and I actually had a CBC management, the CBC right. president who supported it, I'd be going to the Judith Thompsons yeah. and saying, Judith, come on, let's do a miniseries. Yeah, let's just base write it on, anything. Let's yeah. base it on, you know, uh, Grace. Let's yeah. base it on these. That yeah. is a miniseries. Yeah. If I'm BBC, I'm doing it. If I'm yeah, HBO, they I'm are. doing it. But so you're, we're giving to the world of your young writers yeah. our main narrative muscles that say, don't want it, not interested, not formulaic. No. It's I'm sorry, I'm trying to be no, pessimistic. No, it's tragic because that's the way they can make a living because positions like being a prof, there's about three in the country. Yep. I was just incredibly lucky. So, yeah, what do they do? And they can't do it. And, and nothing kills your uh, hunger to write, like the full-time job and then kids. And then, you know, you have to be a maniac. And I guess there's a few maniacs. Chekhov did it, you know, a few people. But again, he had a wife, probably. I'm sure he did. And taking care of the kids. Marx wrote the whole Communist Manifesto with kids climbing all over him. I mean, I guess if you're enough of a maniac, you can do it. But wouldn't it be great if they were actually hired and then we could have a culture in television? I know, it's tragic. And film. There's great people out there. That's the problem. And I know from writing in television, they anything that's you, that stinks of you and nobody else, is what they squash. It's like, yeah, I like it, but that monologue goes out, <laughs> right? But that's the one that happened to me when I was four. Or that's the one that has authenticity and 
no, that's the one they want gone. That's, you know, a lot of the world associates Canada sadly with mediocrity. You see that, and especially don't you find when you travel, if there's any mention of Canada, it's sort of snarky. Like, oh, that's as bland as Canada. There's a lot of that. Like, come to our neighborhood. Are you we crazy? Got Rob Ford. Yeah, well, I've got Rob <laughs> Ford now. They can't say that. <laughs> that's true. That's funny. But there is a lot of that in the institutions that we're facing. And, and whatever we say about America, it is the evil empire in many ways. But there are people who will burst through, mm -hmm. you know, and they're the ones who will take see you in a meeting and. Uh, I mean, so not, have you ever right. been called south? Um, well, other than the plays being in New York by movies and stuff, had, what they do is they call and they say, do you have anything? Because they don't, we, we are a bit cradle to grave uh, supported here. And I'll say, well, also because screenwriting is not my, I don't, I'm not on fire the same way about it. I don't know why. I'm just not. And I think because I don't, I'm not very visual. I don't see it that much. So you haven't been trolled through by, you know, a network executive from Hollywood or... Yeah, I've been called by Fox and various people and saying, do you have anything? If you have anything, send it to us. Or a couple of movie stars have called me and, and said, do you have anything? You know, I, I saw this play in L.A., like one of my plays we've done at a storefront or something. And, um, and I'll just say, no, I don't, because I don't, I really was burned by the, nobody, no bad intentions. I just hated the whole experience. The TV experience. The t well, TV and film, both. Just we like that, Judith, but not that monologue. We like this, but... Oh, I was in a bad mood, so excuse the tone of my notes. This will be, and you're going, uh-oh, and then there's like three pages of notes that are insulting, um, stupid, ignorant, and you have to take them. And you just, and it's what's so precious. I mean, the art is so precious. And then to have people, you can't, you can't write by committee unless you give it up and say, this is all the Robert McKee say, it's not art, it's craft. Put that away right now. Don't even think about it. It's structure, structure, structure. You're thinking, but oh, we wish there was more art because the movies, the few movies or TV where there is art and real character are just changed your life. But I can't go back there. 